Okay guys, and it's grill still smoking a little bit. I usually wait for them to cook down a little bit further, but we're running out of daylight. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and put both of these Dutch ovens on the grill. Uh, I guarantee it's gonna be up to 400 degrees. I'm leaving the vents open, coals spread all across. I like setting them right side up because a lot of that grease is gonna travel down to the bottom of that and I want my inside to be more non-stick. The outside will just be coated uh, with protective covering. I'm gonna leave these suckers on there all night. Uh, tomorrow, I will go ahead and do my lids same way, and I will turn them, flip them over uh, to where the surface that I may cook on, grill on, or something like that, griddle, uh, will be up. The other surface will be down because really they just need a coating on it. The other side's the one that needs the non-stick, and well, the grease bakes on them, it'll make them non-stick. So here's what they are. In the morning, I'll probably whip them off there and, and give you a look at the finished product. But they are going to get up 400 plus degrees and they're going to stay there for probably a good couple hours. I do have a reload here in case I need to, but this grill usually holds heat for a couple hours. So we ought to be pretty good if I damper it down just right. We'll catch y'all later. Okay, guys. Like I said, on the grill, that thing's already jumped up to almost 500 degrees. Uh, at 500, I'm going to let them sit there for about an hour. If I keep that up, I'll dump some more charcoal on it. I'll go ahead and finish the lids tonight and probably give you a view of all of it uh, season tomorrow. So, just catch you later. Okay, guys, you can see the shine kind of in the bottom of the Dutch oven here. Zoom that back out. Uh, that's pretty much it's seasoned. Same with that one. Uh, going to be a non-stick surface. You can bake cornbread, bread, or whatever else in there. I guarantee you it's going to pop out of that pan super easy. We're going to go outside real quick and take a look at the lids. So here's a shot of the lids. Uh, that one actually still even has a little bit of grease in it. Probably go ahead and just scrape it out. It should be seasoned underneath. That's all the excess, but as you see, what looked rusty last night. That fire hits, that flame hits it. Uh, I mean it penetrates it helps pull a lot of the rust out of it but like I say I put coals on top so it's not near as uh, important to season them up however it does keep them from rusting really bad and pitting so each time after you get done with the coals on top it's a real good idea to go ahead and wash them with, uh, some cold water hit them with a brush and go ahead and throw a little oil back on them and that'll keep your cast iron in top condition so few tips, just throw out.